I figured I'd just do a quickie on the uh, tote bag I'm going to make for my granddaughter. Uh, I was able to cut the fabric so I have this pattern on the top, on both the front and the back. Uh, cut a little bit out, um, so I had to sew it there. This black will probably be mostly on the bottom. Um, but in quilting this, I have the batting attached, and I'm just going to pick, I'm going to go sideways on this one rather than up and down, and I'm going to pick, you know, a line where there's black, and go here, and probably go down, you know, try to go through the center of this black, uh, try to pick a line through this. Um, so I'm just going to go back and forth, that's how I'm going to quilt it, so there you go. Okay, the tote bag for my granddaughter is done. Um, finished that up today. Got everything done yesterday except for putting the lining on it. So, there's the back. And probably not going to be able to see the inside because it's black. There is a pocket in there that I sewed down the middle so it actually has two smaller places than the one pocket on the outside. So... There we go. Another tote bag. <laughs> I think I'll work on my other one that I'm working on. Um, have half made. I think I'll uh, spend a little time on that this afternoon. Now that this one is done. There we go. Well, this is the uh, front covers of my other bag done. And sewn together. Now it's a little weird that the back is quilted and the front is not, but so be it. I wasn't about to take the pocket off. So it's just for me. So I'm not going to worry about it. So now I'm going to sew my lining together, right sides together, make my corners after I sew all around. It'll be ready to put together. Two totes in one day. Woohoo! Right. It's a two-toed day today. <laughs> wow. That's only because they were both half done. Uh, they've both been cut out and they both had some beginning steps done to them. So I got them both done today. So this is the one that I made out of the four-inch strips that I cut off of my sister-in-law's quilt. Uh, the crazy shortcut quilt. So basically I can do another tote with the strips that I've cut off of these fat quarters. Oh, what fun. I love doing this. Um, so that's the front. And that's the back. And that's the inside. Can't really see it too well. There we go. There's the pocket in there. Um, again, the quilting is off. Uh, the front of the lining is quilted and the back of the cover is quilted, but I don't think anyone's going to notice. And I think it's very pretty. I love these fabrics, so I was very glad to come up with this idea so that I can preserve these fabrics and keep looking at them because I think they are just so, so pretty. I love them. And I'm happy with the fabric. I bought to go with it. I think it matches really well. So I am really happy about that. So, thanks for watching. I guess next I'll just have to start working on this. Cutting out the backing and the batting and putting the blocks together and quilting them. That's always fun because I'll use decorative stitches and different threads on this. So that's going to be fun. Woohoo!